Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this is a channel about data analytics, data science and career in tech. I'm more than happy to answer to your questions and help you in understanding of data analytics. So please ask me any questions and make any comments. We can discuss very interesting topics related to data analytics, data science, etc. I have received one question recently from my subscriber and Talha, I hope that I haven't made a mistake in the pronunciation of this name, Talha asked me, can you please make a video of stepwise learning to become data analyst? And I decided to help you guys and created a very short informative guide of steps that you should take in order to get a job of a data analyst. This guide is based on three points. The first point is my experience in data analytics. As you guys may know, I have worked in data analytics for more than four years. The second point is the question that I was asked during interviews. The third point is the descriptions of job openings that I looked at when I searched a better place for me to work. Please keep watching this video if you are considering jobs of junior positions as well as jobs of middle positions or jobs of senior positions. The third thing you should know is SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language and this language is used in order to grab to extract data from databases and it's very common tasks for data analysts. You should learn some basic operations with the data, like extracting particular columns from a database from, from the tables there. However, you also need to know how to extract some different, more advanced operations. For example, you need to join two tables by some column. Besides, you should know how Windows functions work in SQL. In my opinion, window functions is the most difficult part of understanding SQL processes. So I recommend you to learn this particular area of SQL too and don't forget to do this. And this will help you to impress your interviewers, impress your colleagues and be very efficient in extracting data. The second step is to learn Python and basics of Python. And by basics, I mean different types. You should know what are dictionaries in Python, what is set, what is a list, how do different operations with such types. The basics of Python can make you a bit closer to software engineers in the way that they, you will be able to communicate your thoughts into the code in cases when you cannot use some embedded functions and you need to write down your own functions to actually make your analysis. The third step is Python statistics and it includes a lot of different ready-to-use functions in Python that are embedded and you can easily apply them in order to calculate statistics, confidence interval, p-values, etc. The fourth step is Python visualization. Here I'm talking about drawing different graphs, histograms, scatter plots. This is a very essential for data analysts to look at different types of visualization because that's how you can actually come to insights, to get insights from the data. The fifth step is more advanced level of visualization, which is Tableau visualization. In Tableau, you will be able to draw very comprehensive, very complex dashboards and scorecards, reports. Reports are very crucial for any company because that's how knowledge can be shared between colleagues in, within the company and how managers could control and manage different metrics and by metrics different aspects of business. The sixth step is to learn statistics or recap statistics if you have learned it at school, at university. So you should be able to provide 
comprehensive definitions of p-values, of confidence intervals. You should understand how these terms are applicable to different processes, for example, to hypothesis testing. What is p-value in hypothesis testing? I would say that this is quite tricky part because it requires some knowledge in math, some ability to make different operations with formulas in from mathematical side. And the seventh step, that is very logical step after statistics and after hypothesis testing especially, that is experimental design. And here you should understand what is A-B testing, how to carry out experiment, what steps should be included in any experiment and what different types of uh, experimental approaches you can have, how to calculate number of observations, how to calculate the result, how to not make an error when you wait for a right p-value. There are many tricky moments that you should know about. These were my seven steps to land a data analyst job. However, you should know that these steps can be slightly different when you deal with a particular area of data analysis, for example, product data analysis. There are additional steps you should take in order to get a job as a product data analyst or there are other steps that you should learn that you should take in order to get a business data analyst. But for a general analytical role, these seven steps are more than enough to take. All this being said, this guide covers most of analytical tasks that you can expect at your work. It's using particular tools and instruments to make calculations and visualization. It's understanding math that stands behind all these difficult formulas. Besides, it's an understanding of practical aspects of an analytical role. I'm going to drill down in next videos. So I'm going to provide you guys with more detailed guidance, what to do, what resources to use, what links, what calculators, what instruments, etc. in more details. So you would be able to go and grab this step for you just to be closer to your dream, your plans to land job in data analytics. I have a question for you guys. Which good movies about data analysis or data science you know? Please share in the comment section. I would be happy to see there are some recommendations because I need to find good movies to make my time in lockdown more comfortable, more interesting. Please share. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate that you find time to develop yourself, to grow your skills in data analysis. This is wonderful. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I think you will find here a lot of useful information as I keep growing this channel. See you very soon. Bye-bye, guys.